Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here, back for part three of the collection. Part three. I don't think I'm gonna be able to munch on nuts while I do this. <laughs> okay, that's a bad choice. Maybe a cocktail. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay. Let's get started. Right now, I want to get this whole collection opened up, put away. For consideration later that's what i do oh look at that nice orange torero looks real good here in the light it's gonna have some uh stickers are gonna have to be cleaned off but you know it's pretty hard to get an orange torero so that one actually looks pretty good and it looks pretty good you know just sitting on a shelf a little bit darker on the bottom there you know we really need a little bit more light it's not bad hmm it's just a little dark in here, but let's just go ahead and get on to the next car. Quad mulligagging around, or is it lollygagging? What do we got? Oh, hey. Hey, now. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Green. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's a gem. I was just telling Paul, the guy that sold me the collection, I said, you know, there's a lot of playware in the collection, but there's some real gems in there. And I'm going to say that that Cockney Cab is one of the gems. Here we got a uh, short order that's had a little customized paint, John, <laughs> customized paint job done to it. Right on the front louvers and on this back part. That's kind of neat though. Really, in the right color, that, that would look just right. I think again, I'll, I'll throw some numbers on the side. And I'll just call this my racing series. Call it a racing series. All right, let's see what's next here. Oh, here we got Six Shooter, Aqua, the common color for the Six Shooter, and it looks real good. It's a good car. Nothing wrong with that. I think I'm low on Six Shooters right now. I'm going to put that, see, I'm going to put the, uh, this has got some trouble, decent cars, gems. Let's just go that way. Let's go that way. What do we got next? Uh, another Indy car. Now, Indy cars... Actually, they're pretty popular when they have all the decals on there just right. This are off a little bit, but it's not bad. You know, if you get them just, if you get these decals on there really perfectly, then these cars are a lot more popular. But any cars are not that popular. Next up is a Python. Hey, it's a Python. It's Aqua. It's Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And it's actually quite nice. Look at that shiny base. Look at that. That's a nice little gem to pull out of there. Yeah, Aqua Python. We're going to put that in the gem row right there in this part three of the big collection. Part three of the big collection. Let's see what's next. Ah, split an image in purple. It's got some stripes on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get those off. Clean her up. I might just leave her like that, though. Depends on the shape of the paint and everything. Purple splitting image. Put that there. Next one up, smaller car. Feels like a Volkswagen, maybe. It is a Volkswagen, and it's blue. It's a blue Volkswagen. Let's see, how is it? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's got a little adhesion, adhesive stuff on there. Looks like a wheel's missing. But uh, that needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and it should be just pretty nice. Should be pretty nice. All right, are we getting that focus? There we go. Very nice. Who's that? I got a little light switch here. Can I trip the light on the camera? Yeah, look at that. Hmm. I think that one will clean up good. I'm going to put that over here in the pretty good to go case. I'm going to have to vacuum out this case too. I think it's got 50 years of dust in it. Look at that. Mudmobile. Good all around Mudmobile. Everybody needs at least one Mudmobile. Probably not. There are some actually some pretty darn hard colors to find on the Mudmobile. And so we'll just put that one down there with the aqua. There's like gold and red and stuff like that. They're really hard to find. What do we got next? 68, Beatnik Bandit. We got the Beatnik Bandit. Eh, that's pretty good shape. Aqua Beatnik Bandit. I think I'll put her on this side. We'll put her in the aqua row. Looks like it's turning into an aqua row. Reach up here to the top. See what we've got. What's going on here with the focus now? That's kind of weird. All right. Pop that back in. 
Here we got King Kuda. Yeah, we'll pop that back. All right, this one is in okay condition. Sometimes these are actually in better condition than they look because the chrome holds up very well. The stripes don't hold up so well, but the chrome holds up well. And sometimes you got to just clean the stripes off, put new stripes on. But I think we'll go with this one as is. Just leave it like that. Next one up, what we got here. Ah, Harry Holler in the yellow color. A Harry Holler in the yellow. Now you can see some toning in this, light toning. As I twist it around in the light here, you can see that little haze in there. I have one Harry Holler that is so brilliant. It's just unbelievable bright. I've got about, I think I've got about five yellow cars that are really fabulous. And that one is not fabulous, but it's nice. And here we go. Next one up. I think this might be a Grand Prix car. It is Shelby Turbine. But in olive, that's good. And it's got a lot of decals on it. So that's not bad at all. Olive Shelby Turbine. Good color, harder color to get on the Shelby Turbine is the aqua. I mean the olive. I do make some mistakes as I'm talking because I'm just riffing, thinking about three different things at the same time and looking at the cars. It's quite a bit to do. Next one up is an Eldorado in green. Eldorado in green, that's kind of rough. It's had some play wear, but she's still all together. Get those decals and things off, straighten up the wheels. She won't be too bad for a green U.S. Eldorado. It's got some good shine to her still. Still got a little bit of good shine to her, so that's not bad. Never bad. Got a little shine to you. I like to have a little shine to myself. And there we go with the, this one is the um, strip teaser. Strip teaser still has the original seat in it, so that's good. Pretty good condition actually overall. Very nice. Very nice. Some good cars. It's always nice to have some of these 71 models. Look at that. Look at they're all in the same color. Very nice. Let's see what we've got here. I've got 16 cars left. Well, let's see. Let's count them up here. I got 103, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 26 cars left to be revealed in this Redline collection reveal. And one is a Red Baron and a darn nice one. Very darn nice. Look at that. You know, it's really hard to find one with a nice helmet like that. Yeah, that's a good one. A little bit of bend on that back wheel, but she'll straighten up. That's a good one. I'll call it good. I'm going to call that a good one. Oh. Oh, I think I put too strong a whiskey in my drink. Here we got a mantis in lime. A lime mantis. Actually, pretty nice. Pretty nice lime mantis. It's kind of a boring color, but when it was new, it's actually quite pretty. When it was new, and that was some time ago. Look at this fabulous case. I just love this case. All right, next one up. A purple, a purple, purple demon with stripes on it. Purple demon with stripes on it. Well, I'll have to clean those stripes off. Purple demon. I wonder, I hope my little plastic boxes will fit in here. That would be nice. I should go get them right now and check. We'll find out. White Jackrabbit Special with the white interior. A little harder to get than the black interior. This one's got a bit of wear on it. Real popular. They're actually really popular if they're in minty mint shape. If they're not, they're not so popular. But... Oh, look at that. Pink Sand Crab. Pink Sand Crab. Pink Sand Crab. That's a popular one. At least it used to be popular. I remember when I used to sell these things for like 195 bucks, but they don't sell like that anymore. This one's probably like 50 on a good day. It's nice and bright pink. We'll put that in the good car pile there. And let's see what's next. Whoops. That is a Ferrari 312P. Ferrari 312P, Hong Kong version with the decals already on it. Good shape. These are always popular. Everybody loves the Ferrari 312P. It's a popular model. It is. And what's this? The hood. Ah, the hood. 
hooded magenta and a nice one at that Got a little dark spotting up in there up in there across here little bubbles a little dull on the bottom but decent got a nice shine to it not too much wear there it is can you see those spots yeah see those spots i'm gonna put that up here just because it rose kind of short i think i might have unwrapped all the best cars already let's see oh wait a minute here's a purple charger i think i got three of these coming in this week in total purple charger man that's got a lot of stuff on it that needs to come off wow there's a lot of stuff on there and all needs to come off because that charger is in pretty good shape I'm not gonna leave it like that Got to get that stuff up there. All right, we're down to uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We're down to 18 in one of those. Number 18 is a classic 31 Ford Woody in blue. I think everybody had this car as a kid. Blue Woody. The Blue Woody is a cool one. I like the Blue Woody. Woody's have been a little scarce lately. Nice ones. What we got here? We got a Vicky Aqua. This one is... Got the decal treatment. Look at that decal treatment on there. Aqua 32 Ford Vickies from the 69 lineup. 69 lineup. All right, here it is. Number 17. Now, what is it? It's a fleet side. Custom fleet side. Custom fleet side. You know, every day people ask me for the original 16. Can you get me in a set of original 16s? Well, it's tough. It is tough. But I think I'll try to put some sets together this week. But they won't be mint. That's for sure. They will not be mint. A mint set of original 16s. That would set you back some serious dough. Okay. Lotus Turbine 69 model. Most decals applied to it. Average shape. And we'll put that one down. And we're getting down. We're getting down. 12 to four, number 14 from the end. 14 from the end. And it is a, oh, it's a gem. It's a gem. It's a pink seasider. How's that condition? It's good. It's very good. It's got a few chips on it, but good color. Really good color. I'm not seeing the usual toning. This one has managed to survive. It's got the chips. I wish it didn't, but it does have the chips, but the color is good. Put her over in the good category. Really good. No, nope, not over there yet. Let's see. Over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one is, oh, yeah, I thought this one was kind of cool. I like the Lola, Lola GT. This one's blue. I mean, aqua with the blue windows. Hong Kong. It's got the five sticker on it, which is harder, but they're not all there. But that's pretty cool. I just like, I just like Lola's. Lola's with the decals applied just right would be so fantastic and I did see that one collection one time and it was it's so cool here we got a Maverick that's been destroyed with a white painted hood oh boy that's a lot of paint and that's hard model paint that's too bad otherwise it's pretty nice I think I'll put some side numbers on there to just complete the look We'll complete the look with some side numbers. Here we got, here we go with a McLaren in gold. See how pretty a McLaren can be? McLaren. That's another car that people don't collect too much. Except there's a few really dedicated Grand Prix collectors. But the McLaren can be quite attractive. But in most cases, it's just worn and sad looking. This one looks pretty darn good. It's got a nice bright color, nicely applied. Oh, the guy got a little carried away at the winds, but it's one of the better looking ones. Yeah, it's hard to collect those in really minty shape. Let's see what's next. Oh, Snake 2. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Snake 2s are tough to get nice ones with all the decals. This one is very nice. Kind of got to cut these kind of cars a little more slack when it comes to their dings and whatnot. This one I would call near mint because it looks just looks good overall. All right, we're almost getting down to the end here for this collection, this fabulous collection of 106 cars. 
And we got a beautiful nitty gritty kitty here in aqua. Got a few stickers that need to be removed, but this is a nice one. Very clean. Got a nice glow to it. Not the most popular color for the nitty gritty kitty, but it looks good. I'll take that one. I'll take it. Very nice, dark interior. Yeah, let's see what else is here. Oh man, Corvette, but that's the problem with 68s, man. They, um, especially the US ones, they just get hammered. They get hammered. And there it is. 68. Red Corvette. These things are so popular in mint condition, but man, they are so few and far between in the minty like new condition. All right, Heavy Chevy, a good one, very good. Heavy Chevys are popular in every possible condition. They're just a super popular car, Heavy Chevy. 10 times more popular than the King Cuda. Well, I take that back. I meant to say the Nitty Gritty Kitty. I would say that the Heavy Chevy is 10 times more popular than the Nitty Gritty Kitty or the TNT Bird. King Cuda is pretty popular, but there's only a, there's not that many colors of the King Cuda. And you only see a few of the colors most of the time. Got the snake here. All right, good. Got the snake to go with the mongoose over there. All right, with a mongoose. Got to lay those decals down. I wonder what kind of adhesive would work best to get those to stick down. Maybe a little glue stick. I'll have to try it. Lay those stickers down. Five cars to go. So excited. This is a great collection. A lot of cars here. A lot of cars. And this one is a yellow uh, swinging wing. Yellow swinging wing. Kind of darkened. Kind of evenly darkened all over. So kind of a medium yellow. So you've got your brighter yellow. And then your slightly darker yellow. If you're doing a rainbow, you could have an in-between car. Kind of put that in there next to your bright yellow and your dull yellow. All right, four more cars. This one is a, oh boy, racing striped custom continental. Look at that. Boy, oh boy, that is some pay job. That's too bad about that. Oh well. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, eh? How about this one? Oh, oh man, it looks like my last Cars are going to be the painted up ones again. Look at that. I just don't, I don't think you can take a layer of paint off without taking all the layers of paint. What do you think? Anyone know how to do that? It's too bad. All aqua US. It's pretty scarce. That's a scarce car. That's too bad. With the racing stripe. All right, two cars left. Two cars left. And this one is a TNT Bird in Olive. Now, Olive TNT Bird is a very good car to get. This one's actually got a lot of chips on it, but it's still got a beautiful color to it. Nice and dark. I know I have one on a blister pack that looks something like this. Maybe even darker. I've always loved it. Always loved it. That is a good car. Wish this one was mint, but it's still it's a hard car to get, so it's pretty popular in any condition. Olive T for two or T and T bird. One last car before we wrap it up. Put these all away. And it is oh iced tea. A little iced tea. It's the last car in the lot. Doors open on the back. Good shape. I needed an iced tea. Kind of low on those. And uh, so I look for collections that have lots of variety, lots of things for different price levels for my resale. And then, of course, cars for me to clean up and put in my own personal collection, of course. Our ever-expanding personal collection. Sometimes I sell off certain cars and uh, start focusing on other cars, just like any collector. So that is it for the 106 car collection. Let's just have a bird's eye view of all the cars here, just for one last look. All right, everybody, let's take a final look at the collection that came in today, 106 Redline cars. Unbelievable amount of cars. Look at that. We've got Police Cruiser, Fire Chief Cruiser, Fire Engine, right there, Fire Engine. Let's get that focused on. 
waste wagon, dump truck, team trailer, tow truck, pit crew car, mongoose two, snake two, mongoose one, snake one. Then we've got in the most beautiful section, the Cockney Cab, the Seasider, the Purple Dodge Charger, Custom AMX, Classic Nomad from the 73 Enamels. We've got the Sweet, the Sweet 16. Is that right? Yeah, Sweet 16. <laughs> and the, uh, oh boy. And over here in the 73 Enamels, we've got the Sweet 16 and the Superfine Turbine. The Volkswagen Beach Bomb from 69 in orange and a beautiful 1971 Olds 442. There's a Salmon Grasshopper, a Blue Classic Cord, and a School Bus. Then over here in the middle, we got a 57 Bird, a Rolls Royce, two Continentals, customized with black paint stripes, Maserati Mistral, Mercedes Benz 280 SL. Got the Sand Crab, the 31 Ford Woody, 32 Ford Vicky, and 36 Ford Coupe. Then in the Fantasy Series, the Fantasy Series, Mantis, Demon, Mod Quad, Peeping Bomb, Carabo, uh, Jet Threat, Jet Threat, yep, Bug Eye, Noodlehead, Mudmobile, uh, Six Shooter, this is hard, the Strip Teaser, What For, the Bifocal, and the T42. How about Red Baron, Paddy Wagon, Ice T, Jack Rabbit, Special Delivery, Sidekick, Funny Money, Harry Holler, Short Order, Rocket by Baby, The Hood, or just Hood, comma, The, and the AMX2 from 71. There's the Power Pad. Then you've got the Grand Prix cars like the Brabham Repco, Indy Eagle, and the Lotus Turbine, Shelby Turbine, Chaparral, McLaren M6A, Lola GT70, and Ford Mark IV, the Porsche 917, and Ferrari 312P. You've got the Fantasy Cars from 69, the Splitting Image, the Twin Mill, the Turbo Fire, and the Torero. How about the... Spoiler series, the Mighty Maverick, not really considered a spoiler, but then there's the King Cuda, the Sugar Caddy, the Light My Firebird, the Nitty Gritty Kitty, Heavy Chevy, TNT, and the Evil Weevil. Then last, and always the roughest section, and that's why these things are so fun and hard to collect, the Beatnik Bandit, the Custom Barracuda, Custom Camaro, Custom Corvette, Custom Cougar, Custom Eldorado, Custom Firebird, Custom Fleetside, Custom Mustang, Custom T-Bird, Volkswagen, Custom Volkswagen that is, Diora, Ford J-Car, Hot Heap, Python, and Silhouette. Now did we get all 16 original cars? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, we did get all original 16 in this collection.